What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm not trying to throw shade, but I was trying to look at the fragrance sample reviews and I wasn't really finding like information. And so I had to go to the website and figure it out myself. And so then I was like, well, let me just make a video for my people. You are my people and I'm glad you're here. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Okay, we're gonna start with, as I break everything, I love your smell, baby. Mm. The acronym reminds, or I always say, I love you so bad, because I thought that that's what that acronym means, or I, I know that it's used in that way, so I keep calling it that, but it's not that. It's I love your smell, baby. Top notes, peach, raspberry, red fruits, like apple, plum, and grapes, exactly. Middle notes, lily of the valley, rose, I don't know what this is, cyclamen? Never heard of it, I'm gonna have to look that up later. Coconut water, base notes, candy, vanilla sugar, woody sheer musks, and amber. It smells so yum. It's like the sweetest, it's so sweet. It's If you don't like a sweet fragrance, you're not gonna like this one at all. If you don't like a sugary, desserty kind of scent, it's called gourmand, actually, if you didn't know that. Gourmand means edible. So when scents smell like food or like you can eat them, they're called a gourmand. If you liked like warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works back in the day, or if you really like to like, do you remember that janky ass? <laughs> I used to wear the crap out of it. Um, cotton candy body spray. From, and it doesn't, it's not so much cotton candy, like literal, like that one was. That one is like, I used to work at Charlotte Roos way back in the day when I was like 18 or 19 years old. And I would like douse myself in this drugstore cotton candy body spray. And every time people came in the store, they were like, they'd be like, why does this smell like cotton candy in here? And I'd be like, it's me. <laughs> so stupid. I was so stupid, but I was cute. Okay. So I love you. Like if you, like, I highly recommend this one. I love, I like sweet scents. I like sugary scents and I like fruity scents. So it's, it's bright in the beginning and then it dries down to a warmth and I'm, I'm like really liking it. The sun is like leaving me, you guys, I better hurry up. Okay. So the next one is, um, hang on, let me check. Lovely sweet dreams. And let's take a, why don't I ever use coffee when I'm doing this? Okay, this does have a lot of sweetness in it, but not as much as the first one. Okay, so keep that in mind. It still has a sweetness, but not as sweet as I Love Your Smell Baby. Okay, so the scent description for Lovely Sweet Dreams is a floral citrus scent. So it's peach, nectar, creamy coconut, apples, white lily, freesia, jasmine, rose. I love rose. I named my daughter Rose. Vanilla bean, blonde wood, soft musk, and tonka bean. Malibu night. The description is raspberry pear and green leaves on the top note. Coconut milk and pink rose with peony in the middle note and the base note of sandalwood, vanilla, and cloud musk. Let me tell you one thing. These are, this is, this reminds me of something that I used to wear or smell in the 90s. Like this is very nostalgic for me for some reason. I'm an 80s baby. Y'all, I'm old. Yo soy un vieja, pero it's okay, okay? This one is pleasant evening beach stroll, light, refreshing, sweet tones. Malibu night is sure to win your sensory heart and take you on a fragrance paradise journey. I love it. I love all of these. There's not one that I don't like. Um, this one is a little more subtle. I would say those ones are, are like a lot more like Boom, I'm here and I'm sweet and I want you to sniff my sweetness. And this one's more subdued. This one's definitely more adult. These are like young and flirty to me. And these, this is a lot more sophisticated. Malibu night. Okay, that's my description. So seven summers, let's see. Seven summers is a warm cream scent. It is really creamy with vanilla lavender, juicy pear, champagne, warm sugar, opulent lavender. Don't know what that means. Vanilla praline. That just means like caramelized, right? Like a caramelized nut. Yum. 
This is making me hungry. Base note of Woody Musk Coconut Cream and Bergamot. I honestly think that you should get the sample sampler and pick out your favorite, but I don't think that you're going to be able to pick out a favorite because I like all of these and they last a long time. Let me show you what they look like really quick because I didn't do that. So they're just the regular sample things that you get from like the department stores. See, mine has a cute little fuzz on it. What the hell? Let's go into Dans la Bois. <laughs> Why don't they have a phonetic spelling here in the dang website? Okay. The scent description for this one, I have no idea what it means. Should I look it up? What if I look it up real quick? Hold on. Let me look it up. I'm going to look up what this means because I don't know and it's annoying me. In the woods. It means in the woods. Okay. All right. That's, I just learned something. Okay. So I don't know. Don't, what do they have the phonetics? Oh. I was close, you guys. Let's listen again. <laughs> I wasn't close. Okay. Don't le bois. I just dropped it. Hold on. Don't le bois. This, and it smells, I can see, now I smell the wood. See, I just needed to look it up to, to smell the wood. <laughs> Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Um, hold on, let's find it. Okay, blood orange, lemon, jasmine on the top notes. Lavender, saffron, sage, and flower petals on the bottom note. And amber woods and leather, vanilla sugar on the top. But this one a man can wear. I think my husband would be able to wear this one. You know why? Because it smells earthy and woody. It's that leather, that leather base note. It's, it smells really sexy and masculine. And I honestly feel like if I wore this, I'd get a lot of compliments on it. If you're a fragrance freak and you love perfumes and you like, I highly recommend buying a full size bottle because they're pretty affordable. I think the full size bottles are like $48. So I don't know. I just don't know if I would ever buy a full size. I would probably, if I ran out of these, I would just probably just buy a sampler set again. They have a different sampler set that comes with six. I don't know which ones it comes with. Okay. So that was my Dime Beauty perfume review. If you haven't checked out Dime Beauty Co., I highly recommend that you do so. Um, the Dime Beauty perfume samples, Dime perfume samples are very affordable. And in my opinion, like, far beyond a budget friendly like $28 these will last you forever like unless unless you're one of those people who are like dousing the crap out of yourself you don't need all that let me just tell you a little thing spray some on the back of your neck you can spray some in the in the elbow creases okay like here and that's it don't like you don't have to you don't have to take a shower in it I mean if that's your thing go ahead do your thing but I mean that's just like you just you have to know that it's not necessary Please make sure to sub and click the bell so you don't miss my videos. Keep in touch. Peace.